freedom. I need to talk to you about something very important. I'm talking about going with the times, evolving, if you will, or if you don't like that term, maybe we want to call it just being modern. What I'm talking about is social networks and promoting yourself on social networks as well as just using modern tools. It's really easy for us to get set in our ways as YouTubers. You know, you go to Twitter every day, you do your thing every day, you go to Facebook, maybe you've got a fan page. If you don't have a fan page, you should get one. Even if it's only your mom checking it regularly, just simply having one opens you up to getting more fans. As a general rule, any social network that you're not a part of could possibly be costing you in missed exposure. You never know where your next fan is going to come from, so if you're not on Instagram or Twitter or Facebook or, I don't know, some other social network type place? Back in my day, the YMCA was our social network! And that's exactly what I'm talking about, is it's that mentality that makes YouTubers eh, right around my age not nearly as competitive as YouTubers your age. I am assuming you're younger than me. It wasn't too long ago that someone gave me a Microsoft Word document, and my response was, dude, just give me a Google Doc. His was somewhere along the lines of, hey, you kids and your Google Docs and your Instagram! Ah, bah. Now, I'm not here to tell you what the best things about Google Docs are, but I am telling you that for more modern users, it's the better option for, I can't even tell you the number of reasons, than using Microsoft Word. In addition to that, things do have a tendency over time to evolve. For instance, it used to be having a Facebook and a Twitter was enough. Now, I've recently started using something that George recommended called Clout. The reason that I'm using this is because, well, it kind of automates a lot of things. Anyone who follows me on Twitter may have noticed that I'm a lot more active now. It's because I can set interactions ahead of time. I can sit down for two hours a week and go, okay, well, here are some stories I want to share, and here are some cool pictures that I've seen this week, and hey, you know what? I want to... I want to promote this or hype that. And I can utilize clout in order to do that so that I don't have to tend to it quite as often or remember to do things. And it's this kind of evolution or, if you will, this kind of growth or modernization that really it's in your best benefit to look out for ways to do this. A lot of people I've seen in the comments say, I'm not big enough to have a Facebook. I'm not big enough to do this. That is the old way of thinking. The new way of thinking is thinking forward, not backwards. You had 500 fans. You had 10 subscribers. You had five likes. What will you have? What will you do to gain more? What will you do to reach out and gain that next fan? Your current fans may not be doing this, that, or the other. But what will your fans of tomorrow do? Where will they be? What networks will they be a part of? And what tools will they be using? These are the questions you need to ask yourself. Because anything you're not doing, you're not reaping the benefits of it. Ah, what do you know? I'm going to the Blockbuster to pick up chicks! Ah! I hope that this video has been helpful for you. If it has, let us know in the comments section down below. Till next time, I'm Anthony with Freedom. Like, subscribe, comment, please. Hey, you kids and your Insta Mama Jailgram! Bah!